Hi friends, in this presentation we will discuss different types of data structures and advantages of a data structure. Let's get started. Types of data structures. Data structures are a very important programming concept. Data structures are basically a way of storing and logically implementing the data elements. These elements need to be stored in a way which makes them orderly and organized. The data structures are used to make working with our data very easier. There are many data structures which help us with this. There are mainly two types of data structures. First one is primitive data structure and second one is non-primitive data structure. Now we will discuss what is a primitive data structure. Primitive data structures. These are structures which are supported at the machine level. They can be used to make non-primitive data structures. These are integral and are also in pure form. They have predefined behavior and specifications. Examples of it are integers, float, character, pointers, etc. We have studied these in our earlier presentation. We call them as primitive data types. These have single memory location which can hold the value only. Now let's discuss about non-primitive data structures. Non-primitive data structures. Apart from primitive data structures which include the int, char, float, double, etc. The non-primitive data structures are also important and definitely play a crucial role for storing and retrieving the data structures. The non-primitive data structures cannot be performed without the primitive data structures. Although they are also provided by the system itself at their derived data structures and cannot be formed without using the primitive data structures. We have two types of non-primitive data structures. One is linear data structure and another one is non-linear data structure. Although both are non-primitive data types at they hold a majority of differences between them. These differences can better be understood by discussing them. First one is linear data structure. A data structure is linear when all the elements are arranged in a linear order that is in sequential order. For example, take array as an example. Arrays are homogeneous and contiguous collection of same types. They have a static memory allocation technique which means if memory is allocated for once it cannot be changed during the runtime. The arrays are also used to implement vectors, matrices and also other data structures. If we do not know the memory to be allocated in advance, then array can lead to wastage of memory. And also insertions and deletions are complex in arrays, since elements are stored in consecutive memory locations. We can also say a data structure is linear when each element of data structure has only one predecessor and one successor. Although there is one exception, that is the first element has no predecessor and the last element has no successor. The elements are inserted adjacent to each other and can also be retrieved similarly. Data elements are easy to be retrieved as they can be accessed in one run. The linear data structures are comparatively simpler and provide a certain ease of working with data. These do not provide us with efficient memory utilization. We have other examples like queues, linked list and stacks. Now let's discuss nonlinear data structures. Nonlinear data structure. A data structure is non-linear when all the elements are not arranged in a linear order. There is no linear arrangement of the elements. For example, we can take a tree data structure that is labeled over here. This data structure is not a linear data structure. We already know that each node has only one predecessor and one successor to be a linear data structure. Here, if we consider 3 and 10 as an example, that means if we take 3 and 10 as a node, those nodes have only one predecessor, but it has two successors, that is, their children. As it is contradicts our role, it is not considered as linear data structure. Elements which are stored in a nonlinear data structure have certain relationships among them while being stored or retrieved. There is a certain definite pattern which always govern the addition of a new element to the structure. Data elements are not easy to be retrieved or stored as they follow a strict relationship among various elements. The non-linear data structures are complex data structures, which can prove to be tricky to an extent. Efficient memory utilization is experienced while working with the non-linear data structures. Simply, data structures are used to reduce complexity of the code. Data structures can be two types. First one is static data structure, second one is dynamic data structure. So we have to discuss about both of them. Now let's see what is a static data structure. In static data structure, the size of structure is fixed. The content of the data structure can be modified but without changing the memory space allocated to it. In the static data structures, 
the memory is allocated at compile time therefore maximum size is fixed advantage of it is fast access and disadvantage of it is slower insertion and deletion we can take a example of an array array data structure is a static data structure because we have to fix the size before the running time now let's discuss what is a dynamic data structure in dynamic data structure the size of structure is not fixed and cannot be modified during the operations performed on it dynamic data structures are designed to facilitate change in size of data structure in the run time in these types of data structures the memory is allocated at run time therefore maximum size is flexible advantages of it is faster insertion and deletion disadvantage of it is slower access so we can clearly say that there is nothing like that one data structure is better than the other the advantage of one is the disadvantage of the other so choice of data structure is up to the user requirement so there is nothing like that one data structure is better than the other example of this dynamic data structure is linked list so the main differences we noted between static and dynamic data structures are static data structure has fixed memory whereas in dynamic data structure the size can be randomly updated during run time which may be considered efficiently with respect to memory complexity of the code static data structure provides easier access to elements with respect to dynamic data structure unlike static data structures dynamic data structures are flexible so dynamic data structures can be useful types of data structures this is the overview of what we have discussed in this lecture data structure divided into primitive and non primitive and that non primitive is further divided into linear and non linear this linear data structure is divided into arrays linked list stack and queue and array is an example of static data structure and linked list stack queue are an example of dynamic data structure coming to the non linear data structure we have examples tree and graph these non linear data structures that is tree and graph are implemented using linear data structures itself now we will see different type of classification of data structure another hierarchy in this hierarchy data structures are categorized in a different way if we carefully observe this classification there is another non primitive data structure which is added that is files a file is just a collection of records the file data structure is primarily used for managing a large amount of data which is not in primary storage of the system the files help us to process manage and access and retrieve or basically work with such data easily it has contiguous linked indexed allocations now let's discuss the advantages of data structure abstract data type is the blueprint while the data structure is the implementation part of it so we can say it provides level of abstraction it just see the abstract data type that is interface some advantages of data structures are efficiency reusability abstraction these are the main advantages of data structures first one is efficiency proper choice of data structure make program efficient in terms of space and time with efficient use of data structure memory usage can be optimized For example we can use linked list rather than arrays when we are not sure about the size of data in linked list when there is no more use of memory it can be released and second one is reusability one implementation can be used by multiple client programs data structures can be reused that is once we have implemented a particular data structure we can use it at any other place implementation of data structures can be compiled into libraries which can be used by different clients whenever it is possible The third one is abstraction. Data structures specified by an abstract data types which provides a level of abstraction. The client program does not have to worry about the implementation details. Data structures serves as the basis of abstract data types. The data structure defines the physical form of abstract data type. ADT is theoretical and data structure gives the physical form to them. Some other advantages of data structures are Data structures allow information storage on hard disk. It also allows the data use and processing on a software system. It allows easier processing of a data. In spite of all these, these are necessary for design of efficient algorithms. Now we will discuss about disadvantages of data structures. Only advanced users can make changes to data structure. Any problem involving data structure will need an expert's help. that is basic users cannot help themselves 
programmers has to estimate the maximum amount of space that is going to be needed if the estimate was too high then there is a lot of space wasted finally from all these we can say data structures are the basic building block of any programming language and complex computations okay friends this is it for now thanks for watching this presentation